have a Kazoxian Sale 231 video file for lot number 1112, uh, Japanese Occupation World War II military postcards, a five frame exhibit offered intact, uh, which is quite remarkable in itself. And the head page says, um, a study of military postage privilege postcards to the homeland. Um, this is from a stamp folder presented to the Commander-in-Chief of the Southern Region's Military Administration. It's a fascinating lot. This, the little piece of paper said, presented to the Commander-General of Southern Region from this folder is shown on the first page. Right, okay. That's a very white card. So these are identified as uh, from Malaya, from Burma, Malaya. Sumatra, Malaya, Burma, good range of types. The blue papers are unusual, so is the yellow printing. Uh, that's from Indochina. These are from Burma. Unusual pink one with the nice illustration on the back from Sumatra. It says message and illustration was produced using the wax block imprint technique where the message was carved into wax blocks and inked before pressing the postcard against it. Five pointed stars. Uh, doesn't say where these were used, but uh, uh, Nanpo Haken 4833 Yoshida and Hayabusa 9866 Force Takamatsu Party. Uh, these are from Malaya. The blank ones I'll show at the end, they're the ones that were pulled out specially. Uh, two different sensor chops uh, from Malaya. Java, Sumatra, Malaya. These three look like they were in the same bundle that got water damaged. Hoko Ryu 9924 Sagano Force. This one from Java, JI 10801 Force. From Guhoko on Ambon. That must be pretty scarce. Malaya. Malaya, Java. It's a good study. The uh, chap who put it together, I think, was Japanese, and so uh, the English is a little stilted and uh, a lot of work could be done on uh, enlarging the um, descriptions and the uh, technical comment about the cards and so on. If the whole thing was remounted and, and rewritten, it could come up uh, a lot better. Um, Philippines, Java. With arrival mark, Osaka Nishi, rarely seen with arrival. Yeah, that's the grey card. These are printed on box board. Round top gun. I don't know where gun is. It's probably one of these little things in here. Indochina, Philippines. The famous dove and helmet. Quite ironic that you have military cards with a dove on them. Um, this one from Indochina. Doesn't say where that one's from. Naval usage. Uh, Solomon's in New Guinea. Philippines, Burma. Indochina and Malaya. New Guinea and Solomon Islands, that one. Don't know about the first. Java, Sumatra. Philippines, Malaya. Thailand. It may be that if the collection was broken down by uh, area, um, there'd be a lot more interest in it, but uh, 
I'm hoping that somebody is going to take it on as it is, Thailand, because I think there's a lot more that can be done with it. Sumatra, Malaya, Sumatra. Short tail lines and long tail lines. It's in the, the bird there, Thailand. Death Railway, rare. It's a nice card. Burma. Well, it says illustration of Indochina, but then it says Upper Irrawaddy River Transportation of Rice, and the Irrawaddy is in Burma. Philippines. So this is moving away to the pictorial types, provisional military uses, it says. Malaya, Thailand, that one's damaged. Uh, they've both had the inscriptions uh, blocked out by the censor, and this one's been quite heavily redacted, which is unusual. Normally the redacted ones end up not being sent. Um, again, the inscription erased here, but not on this one. Malaya British Empire exhibition. Yes, you can imagine that that was highly controversial during the war. Um, this is uh, Corregidor in the Philippines. Uh, this is Japanese troops in an abandoned home in China, would you believe? Use from Java. See lots of these uh, unused cards, but uh, the used ones are very scarce and very attractive. This will be rare from North Borneo. Wait, sure, that one's Thailand, this one's North Borneo. Photographic types. They're Japanese subjects. And there's uh, a good lot of these uh, Japanese cards used uh, depicting Chinese scenes. Uh, this one says it's used in Malaya. Elsewhere in the sale we have an album of uh, that type of card, unused. Uh, Sumatra, this one's a view of Penang. Sumatra, this one says Gohoko, Northern Australia, um, which is not going to be correct, but it may uh, refer to a usage from the islands, uh, Indonesian islands, or even from uh, Dutch New Guinea, somewhere like that, that's north of Australia. Malaya. This one says, the original drawing was funding the purchase of military planes. Both cards from Rabaul. Malaya, Java. Indochina, Philippines. Indochina, Angkor Wat. Both used in Java. Naval card with the star and the... Oh, well, I've got the card itself over here. Uh, another one from Northern Australia. Burma, Philippines. Both Malaya. Both Philippines. And again, uh, Philippines, Solomons, Malaya, Sumatra, Sumatra and Singapore. Note as a scarce origin. Uh, these two have had the corners clipped uh, deliberately. There was some sort of coupon uh, that had to be uh, removed, both from the Philippines um, Sumatra, Philippines, 
Philippines and Burma, Sumatra, Malaya reply card, Sumatra overprinted. Due to shortage, reply cards were overprinted with lines to obliterate the instruction on postage and reply card. Additional message, usually on the reverse, was overprinted on the right hand margin. Unusual usage with a stamp added from uh, Sumatra. Oh, reply to Sumatra, reply to Malaya. So they've actually come back from Japan. This one from Sumatra, small overprint there. And Sumatra again, that one's in very poor condition. As is this one from Burma, or two of them. And finally, naval usage from the Solomon Islands. And then there's a few that were uh, removed for scanning separately. Another one of those reply cards. This one has a, a brass paper label affixed to it, presumably redirection. Uh, there's the one with the star and the anchor, very unusual inscription. It looks like it's either been removed from a book or had a, a reply half attached at that end. And there's the coupon that I was talking about, not removed from that one. All in all, a fascinating lot in generally fine to very fine condition. And if it isn't sold this time, I think we'll probably uh, put it on ice for 10 years.